That's like when you go to like the Midwest and a lot of people dip out there, like yeah. college guys. And then at frat parties, there's always like a dip cup. Ugh. And then people are always like, no, don't drink it, it's a dip cup. Oh, you ever seen that shit? Videos yeah. of people drinking on it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Disgusting, yeah, bro. Man. I want to try it. All right, we got some New Zealand news. Oh, yeah. Right. You've been there, right? I have not been to New Zealand. I've been to Australia. Oh, I've been to Australia too, man. Who has who, who been to New Zealand? I haven't been to New Zealand. Damn, man. I would love to I go. To That's like the next step. You got to go, you know, you go to Australia and then it's like, then you go to New Zealand. How long is that flight to New Zealand? From Australia? From here. From here's fucking far. There's no direct <laughs> flight to New Zealand? Maybe from Hawaii? I think from Hawaii there might be. Oh, yeah? Maybe. Get it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> nice. Well, future generations of New Zealanders will be banned from purchasing tobacco as part of a package of a new anti-smoking laws that's passed Parliament on Tuesday and among the most strict in the world. So if you were born on or after January 1st, 2009, punishable by fines of up to $95,000, you will never be able to buy tobacco. I like that. That's because cool. they're like, yo, I you need to start vape. vaping, kids. That's dope. It's for their own good. Yeah, yeah go get some strawberry vape. Hell yeah, man. Don't get caught up in that bullshit. <laughs> yeah, go get some cantaloupe vape. There's no benefits besides looking real fucking cool. Damn, it does look pretty. That is huge, though. Like you know that, you're fucking up the kids' ability to look fucking. But New Zealanders cool. already look cool. They are kind of cool already, dude. They, they got, got a beautiful and shit. Yeah, dude. Those only work when you're smoking tobacco, though. You <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah, they always, they always got Lucy <laughs> hanging out while they're yeah. fucking playing. So is everybody just gonna hive mind this video and that's it? Yeah. You know what, dude? I love tobacco. I think it's fucking great. Tell Do you think they it. should still have the freedom of choice, though? <laughs> yeah, I thought right, in New dude. Zealand they were right, giving out meth and shit. You know? New uh, Zealand yeah. giving out meth? Yeah, I heard that. Like, if you're addicted to meth and stuff, they just keep you off the streets. They keep you in the house and they like, here's a little meth. Stay out. Damn. Yeah, I think they have to so you can keep you alive. Cause when if they do a hard, if you go uh, cold turkey, you can get sick and die. Aww, how oh. sad. Oh, We're on the street. That's in Sa Sac uh, San Francisco. Well. I want meth users to live forever though. I don't know much about New Zealand, but I do know that during COVID, they were able to be open because they didn't let nobody come in. So they're just like, let's just. They did a good people. job, man. They're just like, we're they an island. It. They were chilling, dude. That's they didn't have to import cigarettes. Yeah, so they're like, we just won't let people come through, come inside, and then they'll just chill. That's I think if say. you're a beautiful place like that, that's isolated in a way, do what you can, man, to it's keep it nice. Best. But imagine you were visiting. Can you leave and go home, or you're stuck in New Zealand? They say, get oh, the fuck out of here. You're a Kiwi now. Yeah. 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 Kiwi? I would assume you could leave, but I, I'm guessing that once you leave, you can't you come can back. back. Good old parents rule. I don't yeah. know, man. I want to go there because it looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. It's where they shot Lord of the Rings and yeah. shit. It's like Hawaii, but then all the Polynesians have this weird accent that make them seem like distinguished gentlemen. <laughs> they all sound like Taika Waititi. Do they got Korean barbecue there though? I can't go anywhere with no Korean barbecue. True, that's true. What's I up like, with that? I like Korean barbecue too much. Let's check. I'll, you want me to check? Yeah, go oh, on, yo. Yeah, yeah, they, they got. And make sure look at the menu if they have galbi. If is there Korean barbecue in New Zealand? So when they were keeping people out, how did they get stuff in? Like when they would still import stuff in, and I think they gotta stop them in the water, put on a raft, and then you push it to me. Yep. Yeah. That's what they're. Bring me that Korean barbecue. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ten, ten best Korean barbecue in Auckland, New Zealand. Yo, they got yeah. Korean barbecue, they dude. Got they got I could, lot, I could live man. there. I could live there. Then. They got bonsong. They got red pig. They got faro. They got sansu gabsan. They got caldo <laughs> Korean buffet. Yo, they got Korean barbecue, dog. We could survive there. Here's the question, though. Do you think if they made that. it illegal to That's buy right. cigarettes, would that just fuel the fire for people that want to smoke more because it's something you shouldn't do? And then it Maybe. turns into the drug market. I you get black market tobacco. Want to quit eventually, and that would right there make them quit. Because I, I don't think anyone smokes now. They're addicted. Of course, it's easy access. I think if they want to quit, go there. You can't buy it anyways. So you're. Eating someone's ever going like, I'll suck your dick for some more, well, bro. This dog. is only this uh, this ban remains in place for a person's entire life if they were born on or after January first, two thousand nine. If you were born in two thousand eight. You yeah. can buy cigarettes. Oh, wow. interesting. They're like, you old fucks can smoke your lives to death. Oh, they're just squeezing people out. But it shouldn't be that hard to get someone to buy you cigarettes, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. No, but the the industry is gonna die out. That's what they're trying to do. Yeah, is trying phase to out the industry. There's no benefit yeah. for smoking. For ninety five thousand dollars, I don't think I'd smoke a cigarette. What? Like I would have someone buy me a cigarette. What about all the Philip Morris employees? Don't they need jobs and stuff? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. We're not thinking of the big picture, man. Yeah, man. What is gonna happen to their jobs? What about all the lung doctors? <laughs> They're gonna be out of a job. All the poor lady. What about the mortuary? Ooh. Did you used to smoke back in the day? Cigarettes, no. Do you guys want to start? You never smoke cigarettes just for fun, like a cool guy? I would only, like, you know, socially chain smoke them when you're, like, at a rave or something. Yeah. You know what's funny? You, you look like, because you're cool, you look like you smoke. You look like you smoke? I know, but I try to look like that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> But you default look like a like I would because like, I was gonna ask you if you wanna but then I realized shut the fuck up because <laughs> you're cool cool you're people. beanie guy dude people that look cool look like they you know they got a little bit of back stones. in high school a bunch of the homies used to always smoke black and milds and then yeah. we would like smoke with them yeah and they're kind of tight dude <laughs> <laughs> they smell good they smell so good <laughs> they smell real good man I kind of like the uh, way that we're reverse fucking <laughs> so hey you no know, hide mine here I kind of like I kind of like a cigar. Comes with I like cigars. cigars. It's a little mouthpiece. Really? Oh, you know what's good though? Is a good a... fucking hookah session, dude. Low key. You you get some mint tea. You oh. feel like you're in the fucking Middle East just sipping mint tea. Hookah's and, pretty cool. And you fucking. Oh, sheesh. <sighs> We're talking. And then you have a long Marlboro conversation. <laughs> about Marlboros, bro. I, I haven't I smoked them. I used to smoke I a lot. Uh, a chain smoker? I'm uh, yeah, uh, over three. Over 25 time. years of I smoking. Well, what's the most you used to smoke, like per day? I think I got up to pack. One pack a day? Yeah. That's expensive. At one point, yeah. Damn. But that was like when cigarettes were like five bucks. What oh, is that? Okay. Is that like 30 cigarettes in a pack or something? 20. What are they at now? Like the <laughs> average price of Depends. a pack? Depends. Like of a, of, a, of a regular Marlboro Red. What's that, like 26 what? bucks? Oh, is it? Uh, I have no idea. I thought it was like 10 bucks now. I never bought a pack in my life. Let's see. Uh, right now. Some places are like 20 bucks. Depends on what state you're in. Uh, yeah. you, can, depending, you can get packs and then they get cheaper by the pack. The cartons. The cartons. Sure. The cartons, sorry. Uh, 11 bucks roughly. Wow. Well, oh, double. One package of Marlboro cigarettes in Los Angeles is about $11. A pack is eleven bucks. Yeah, it used to be three eighty, yeah, dude. Yeah, it used yeah. to be fucking cheaper than that. And if you got it from Mexico, because people would smuggle cartons of oh, shit yeah. back, that would be like two bucks. Yeah, a a pack. Or you can get. It really depends. There's a lot of fluctuation on prices here. You can even get them for like seven bucks somewhere, or eight bucks, nine bucks, whatever. Joe, you ever roll up a pack of cigarettes up in your sleeves? Like, no, that's cool, man. Do you remember, do you remember that old commercial where they would pack it? Yeah. And they'd just be, and they just, it, that was like, don't smoke, or you, and then they would they would do. Don't a smoke, we're gonna look cool like these guys. Yeah, yeah. And they do have monkey packing uh, it, and they're like, that's what you would look like. Is it because it looked cool? That's why how people how. People I was so it. curious about all those things, drinks, smoking, because it was illegal, and I was like, why? So I don't understand why. People younger can't do it, but people older could do it. I just didn't get why that was a law. So I was like, let me try. And then like, I'll try beer. And I'm like, oh, this is disgusting. But I can see why people like it. But I didn't know I was allergic to alcohol. So I was just like, yeah, it makes people like buzzed. And then I was like, cigarettes though, I don't get it. Like, and everyone back then was smoking. Like I remember when you take a plane ride, there was a smoking section. Oh, when you go into restaurants, there were smoking sections. Everybody was smoking. So it wasn't like shunned upon, right? There was just like, you're a fucking kid. Don't cuss, don't smoke. You're not old enough yet. So me and my buddies were just like, oh, that's a cigarette on the ground. It's like, it's like, it's like half smoked. Let's try this shit. We got a lighter and we lit it up and then we're just like watching it go like burn. And then you're like, you smoke it, all right? I'll smoke it. And then I was like, oh, this is fucking nasty, right? And then like one time, um, my friend's brother, they're all skating and they're just like, what the hell are you guys doing? That's disgusting. <laughs> like here, and then he had a pack of cigarettes, and then so he was like, take take a clean one, you know. And then so we pulled one out, and then so we're all like smoking, and then we're all doing this. We don't inhale, right? Yeah. And then he's like, inhale it, and I'm and we're like, what? And then they're like, no, fucking take a breath after you pull it. And then so he taught us how to smoke, and then so we all inhaled it. We. <clears throat> <laughs> We're all fucking coughing and all of the brothers are like laughing at us, right? And none of us want to look like a bitch. So we're just like, yeah. <laughs> Inside your dad. And so now we all get on our skateboards and there's like eight of us going down the street with cigarettes on our fucking mouth, like coughing while we're smoking. Like <laughs> yeah, we're fucking cool. cool. <laughs> but then it makes you, um, cool. you so just dorky. feel kind of high and like weird. 
but you just keep well, doing it and it's disgusting <laughs> but everyone around you's doing it and then afterwards you know you you smoke weed and then you like the cigarette taste while you're smoking and you just get you get hooked yeah yeah have you guys seen do you guys have any friends that like vape all the time yeah yeah and yeah. don't they fucking hit that shit all, all the, the time. time yeah it's it's so accessible and it like it, the smell isn't as bad it's very pleasant so it's like they hit that way more than a regular cigarette. Dude, there's some people that you could tell they're like mad hooked, like because oh, especially with the with the studios that I have, we don't allow vaping inside. And sometimes when people get there, they're like, "Hey, is it cool if I vape in here?" I'm, and if I say like, "Oh no, nah, you can't," some people will visibly go. They'll like whinge. They'll be like, oh. "Dude, one of my clients, this motherfucker, he's he's like a boxing client of mine, and this dude brings a, a vape in, and he starts hitting it. I'm like, bro." You were not hitting this vape in, in the gym right now. This is crazy. Yeah, and he goes, yeah. oh, come on, man. Like, let me. And I was like, nah, dude. Like, get the fuck out of here with that. You can't be smoking a vape in yeah. here. And then he puts it away. And I look back, and he's fucking hitting it again. I'm like, dude, are you a fucking junkie? You can't oh, take that shit, shit outside, bro. That's ridiculous. But he's, he fucking, he's got to have his fucking fix. When oh, vaping no, no, no. first came out, though, it was so cool because there was no rules against it. So then instead of smoking, you just... You were at the casino oh, yeah. and you just hit that vape or like you could just, well, you know, non-smoking casinos, right? Like in the poker table or like you'd be at a restaurant, just hit that shit. And then people be like, oh, what is that? That smells like strawberries. And like people weren't against it. Yeah. Even in planes. Remember that shit? People yeah. would hit the vape in the plane and shit. That's just nice. Yep. And then when people vape around me, I'm like, what's that mango? Yeah. Moroccan mint? Hook me up, dude. <laughs> dude, when the fucking first vapes were starting to really come out and they were like the giant ones, right? You would see a giant cartridge of liquid, oh, yeah. huge yeah. batteries. You'd see people fucking like twisting these giant batteries yeah. on and you hit it yeah. and it would be like burning the fuck yeah. out of your throat. You and know? you hear it burn, <laughs> you feel the, the bottle. It's just, it, it was like cloud fucking competition. And they do tricks with it? Yeah. Oh, dude, get a All life. Get a life. Yeah. fucking life, dude. Dude, that shit was crazy train, though, you know what I mean? You think about like that era, but which was not long ago. Yeah. I get the appeal though, because like I, I use a stizzy, I used to, but like when I would hit it, it would get way more addicting and like way easier and accessible to just to like pick it up and be like, oh shit. And then sometimes when you don't use it, you'd be like, oh, I really want to smoke this right now. So it becomes like this habit yeah. that you do over time and then it, that you have to be like, oh shit, this is. It's dang. like with anything that becomes routine. Yeah, it's right. hard to stop. Yeah, it becomes a part of like your ritual of how you relax and chill. It's right. like, no, it's, it's, not, it's not good. I used to dip. You guys ever dip? Oh, dude, I wanna. You wanna start dipping? I'll dip with you. I thought that I used to eat big league chew like, like you, I was dipping. You're in, pain, you're in pain, but you keep doing it. You're in pain from it? Yeah, in the ball of your liver. After Does it like like cut stings it a little? Yes, yeah, cut it up. But for some reason, the, that addiction, just like you said, you keep coughing. But you just want to do it. It's yeah. like, dude, why can't I stop? How crazy, yeah. dude, yeah. In the so military, rough. hella people dip, and everyone has to keep like a spit bottle everywhere they uh, go. Yeah. Like, Ugh. Ugh. Everyone has it, because it's all filled up with nasty ass tobacco saliva. Ugh. It's so gross, but I'm like, I want to try. That's like when you go to like the Midwest, and a lot of people dip out there, like yeah. college guys. And then at frat parties, there's always like a dip cup. Ugh. And then people are always like, no, don't drink it, it's a dip cup. Oh, you ever yeah. seen that shit? Videos yeah. of people drinking on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> e -ye. Disgusting, yeah, bro. Man. I want to try it. Not as bad as two girls one cup, though, for sure. You want to put that to the test? Let's do it, baby. <laughs> <laughs>